Your name. Joe? Oh, yes. Say Hi. your name. Janice. Dale. Wayne. Shirley. Jack. Jack. Rita. Edna. Orange. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There's two Jacks. Yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And the daughter was over and said, we don't know who you are. Oh, you know what I'm saying? 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 Oh, that was fun. Oh, that was fun. And Jeremy lost a lot of people. Good old baby. I didn't realize that. And one other time, I got some Levi jackets and You know, we stayed in the Air Force forever. Of course, we did not look and anything like uh, Hell's Angels. Uh, <laughs> 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 we look so comely. You know. He said, told me what, what they oh, wanted to, to get our plane ready to fly back, and he said they take. But up there, is that is that apartment still there? Oh, it's all different there. Now. It's all different. It's all industrial. <laughs> you may have just been there for. A few days or a month or something, in, uh, but you Keystone just got in town. Rushmore, and we the Hill City you from Keystone. Uh, I said, you want a bottle of milk? And I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it goes up in the milk uh, I have two milk bottles. It takes 300 gallons of I wish I had one of your milk bottles. He does too. It takes 300 gallons of oil to kick it up that hill. Give them to me. No, I want one. They were using coal. They were using oil. Why, you don't have any? I've had to Wait, you don't have any? We have some, but they're for I should have brought some bottle caps. Oh. You know, that corner there, to Brandon yeah, and Elder. There, there used to be an olive grove there. Yeah, up on the yeah. hill. Up on the hill, wasn't it? Yeah. On the right-hand side, if you're going out? Where the, where the medical center? Elder, Elder over the hill, and when you come to Brandon, you turn left, yeah, and it's right on the corner. Yeah, right? where, where the medical there. center is. Yeah, and there was an olive grove there, and uh, mom worked for uh, for uh, the Barrymores, and, and they and she didn't drive, and they'd bring her home. Well, Johnny, Johnny got his driver's license, and he brought mom home, and and so to impress me. Oh. He takes this brand new Lincoln. I mean, the prettiest car I'd ever seen, out into the, into that olive, olive grove, grove, and he spun circles around every damn tree. He had dust. <laughs> what was he driving? What was he driving? John. He was driving a brand new Lincoln. Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know, one of those that had the spare tire on a back. Oh, Continental tire. Yeah. Continental. Yeah. It was. It was a beautiful car. Well, it was pretty it's pretty garden down. Yeah. You probably yeah. couldn't. You probably couldn't tell what color it was when he got done. <laughs> yeah. God, he, he just. It was, uh, did his folks find tree. out? Huh? <laughs> did your folks find out about it? No, but his mom probably found out oh. about it. <laughs> his mom was nice, but he was a real jerk. Goofy, yeah. <laughs> goofy. <laughs> God, I can't believe that somebody would take their <laughs> folks' car and do that. It must have been just full of dust and dirt when he got done. Dirt there. all underneath, everywhere. Yeah. Mm. My dad had a brand new car and he decided he was going to go to Mexico. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just got in there and the policeman walked up with this, uh, this her car. <laughs> My dad said, yeah, I just bought it. He says, well, you're driving the wrong way or something. He ended up putting my dad in jail. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> my dad never went back into Mexico, period. No. They wanted to go camping. There's no way. Did he get his car back? <laughs> yeah, he finally got it back. But oh, wow. he had to pay, I don't know how much. Oh, yeah. I bet. Crooked <laughs> cops down there. Yeah. Oh, sure. They're still. They're worse today than they were then. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. were bad in, then. In, in South America, it, they're really bad. When we were, um, we had just, we were on a cruise, and it was the last stop, um, Valparaiso. Valparaiso. 
was the uh, port. Uh -huh. And uh, we had to go through customs there. And in my carry-on bag, I had string cheese. I carry that with me all the time. And <laughs> you know, there's so much food on ships. I never ate this, the cheese, so it was still in my carry-on bag. And I had forgotten that when you fill out your customs card, mm -hmm. you declare whatever you have with you, and you cannot have certain things. And one is milk products. Mm -hmm. Well, this, but this string cheese is clamped in mm -hmm. uh, a bag of mm -hmm. uh, cellophane that you know nothing could get out. But anyway, this <coughs> this um, um, large sheriff. Uh, our custom officer, uh, we had to, as we were coming in, all of a sudden this dog picked up my bag. Oh no! And, uh, he smelled the cheese. <laughs> and I thought, gee, what's that dog doing? <laughs> That's funny, you know. And then pretty soon they picked up the bag and put it on the counter and asked if they could open it. And I said, well, sure. Pretty soon this large custom officer comes over and shows me the cheese and they said, you declared you did not have any milk product. Mm -hmm. You perjured yourself. Oh, no. You, you have to stay over for trial. Oh, and they said, they took our passports and they said, go over and stand by those other two couples. The other two couples had fruit in their bag. Uh -huh. And didn't declare it. And didn't declare it, and they forgot all about it. And they, well, I went over there, and they were mad. And I I still was very naive about this. I just thought, so, you know. Mm -hmm. And they said they were, they were going to put them in jail. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, they said they were going to hold us over for trial. And mm -hmm. so two, there was two officials from the from the ship that was standing over watching all of this. So I went over and told them, I said, look at what they're doing, they're holding us up. And we have a tour that we want to go on. And they said, you know, we can't help you. We can't even go over to your table. Wow. And about that time, I panicked. I, th I could just see myself in, in jail. <laughs> in a South American jail. Oh, and <laughs> I had this panic attack. I couldn't breathe. Mm. And I go, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I walked over to do it. I, I couldn't breathe. And, and pretty soon that custom official comes over he throws our passports down after he looks at me, of course, and I was going like this. That's an uh, international sign of joking. Yeah. And uh, he throws the passports on the table and he says, I forgive you, now get out of here. <laughs> all, all, all six of us. Even the one with first. Yes. <laughs> and so I picked up Yes. And I was crying, and I, as we got close to the outside, I didn't want to say it while we were too close to the inside, because I felt like they would arrest me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told my, the officials, like, the United States never treats their visitors this <laughs> way. <laughs> That's the truth. Do you think another one when she used to fly this whole yeah. thing all over? And they landed, and it was over the holiday weekend, and the plane was confiscated. Wow. Because wow. it had been smuggled Why did they and drugs. Take it? Because those call letters had been smuggled and drugs. They told the two women they could go home, uh, but the plane had to stay. Well, of course, Woody wouldn't leave a plane there. So they got a room, and as soon as they came, or the holiday was over, they went to the consulate, the U.S. consulate. Turned out someone had stolen their call letters, and it was another plane using their call letters for the oh. smuggling things. So they finally got home with big headlines in the paper. <laughs> Jim yeah. Schultz's mother arrested yeah. in Mexico oh, for, for smuggling drugs. <laughs> oh, God. That 
that was Ooh, so good. They put that in the scrapbook. <laughs> I bet Jamie still has the article. I'm not giving it to you. But it was so funny. scary though. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know, yeah, was just you're it's too long. Yeah. You're in town? I've never, I've never heard that. Oh yeah, he took them down to Mexico and sold them. Oh shit! I mean, and they got him. Oh, they nailed him. What was the guy's name? He used to deliver pets to land, and he, he always had his show. He always had his shirt rolled up. His first name was Bert. He lived up right near that same area. Oh, yeah. he, he delivered milk for milk. He delivered gas. <laughs> Overman, Gaber, Gaber, not Bob Gaber. I think he was Overman. Told me the Overman was their their dad or well, there was, there was Carol Overman and a bunch of Overman girls. Peggy Overman. Peggy, yeah. We're not buying any milk from you, Jack. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> the guy can't tell us we need propane and milk. I don't believe you don't have your dad's your story milk bottles. Do you have one? No, but what? I don't. Remember, I don't believe you don't have one. We do. I you brought do? a bunch of them. I should have brought them today. But we. We have to save them for our kids. Oh. We have to save them for our kids. We have to save them for our great-grandchildren. Grand you don't have one to spare? Oh, yeah, I could. Bring Maybe it tomorrow. <laughs> bring it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I would love to have it. Or bring it the next day, and we'll hold it for her. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> oh, there's a question mark. <laughs> Where on Morrow did you say you lived? <laughs> North Orlando, Orange County. Uh, I know we didn't miles. Story Jerry, you just went by it when you come up here. That's right. Story Jerry, it's a stone yeah. throw from here. The road here just right did over. you know that? There's no bottles there. <laughs> there might be. Yeah, buried to buried out back somewhere. Are you kidding? You probably searched that place. I went down there uh, a couple weeks, a few days ago. What he worked for Shirley and I. San Diego. Where, 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 where um, we go there? See him in the Huh? Oh, took, took my sister. Oh, I'll be oh my sister was down visiting me. Surprise. And for something to do, I said, "Let's go down and see the old dairy." Um, when she moved, when she was born in '43. Probably did. And we so left her in '46, so she's only three years old. We're, we're but she has a faint recollection. Oh, I'll be Recollection of that. Of that. So we went down, and I just could barely see little bitty pieces of what used to be the dairy, you know, mm -hmm. steps and old, <laughs> where the old cows used to be milked, and the, the place where we used to bottle milk, and I, I knew where they all were, but they've changed that all around a lot. Yeah, I was down there a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of interesting. I was surprised it's large as it is. Is that a country store now? Yes. I didn't hear that. Is that a country store? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Feed store. Feed. Mm -hmm. Oh, feed. A, a lot of clothing and they stuff. They say they get like twenty some dollars for a bale of alfalfa. The, the feed store. Oh yeah, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Maybe we used to get it for dollar ninety five or something. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get it for a buck and a half. I don't know. I'm an oats man. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle, you know, Jim, he used to get fertilizer from the dairy up there. I used to drive that old real truck down there and load that thing up and the take real, it back. The real and, stuff. Real stuff. He said his whole orchard, lemon orchard. Jim Fleming used to come down there all the time. And yeah. You always go get me to help him. Yeah. <laughs> about about um, 500 bales Thursday. Oh, wow. <laughs> you bought 500 bales? Yeah. Wow. You bought them? Get out of California or is that a. What's that cost? No, that's out of. $30,000? Well, not $30,000, but I haven't got the bill on it yet. Well, you got one that said she wanted. Oh, Joe wanted somebody's. Phone number. Can you guys remember who it is? This place, Gail Keith. Does anyone know her phone number? No, but I've got her on my. Uh... Oh, he was taking a picture. Oh, you can still take pictures. What are you going to chat in It's not my. It's not my camera. <laughs> I'm just taking pictures because some of them aren't going to be out. And that's what Joe. Is. Say your name. Janice. Gail. Wayne. <laughs> 
Jack. Jack. Rita. Edna. Orange. Yay! <laughs> There's two J's.